Hey guys, Dr. Dobson. We're going to be doing a 3-7 endo and crown prep in this video. Uh, here's the final preparation and uh, here's some trailer footage. We did the crown prep right after the endo and uh, this is the case here. Patient presents uh, for a spec exam in severe pain, uh, big cavity into the nerve, can't do a filling with selective caries removal at this point. Needs an endo and a crown, so that's what we did. I think we actually did it on site, canceled some appointments, and then got him out of pain. So this is a Patreon case that I'm working on. Probably have it up this weekend. Lower all on six, upper uh, complete denture. Um, we uh, did going to be posting the surgery, the manufacturing of the prosthetic in-house, and then installation. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Patreon is going to be up shortly. Mostly implant cases. And then maybe a little bit of like clinic tour lab stuff. So we'll get started with the case here. Three seven big cavity in the mesial. You can see there um, froze with articane one in two hundred uh, long buckle and a nerve block. And we're just going to take a millimeter and a half off the occlusal surface with a KS one uh, from the lingual side, and then a uh, large wheel from the uh, buckle side. Try to do a little bit of. Uh, of a uh, of uh, anatomical prep here uh, then we can get a little bit closer to the pulp chamber makes instrumentation a little bit easier as well we're going to go in with a large round diamond next and remove the tooth decay and we can we know right off of the uh, x-ray and just the presentation that it's going to be well subgingival so we're going to be using the uh, electrocautery tip in this one <clears throat> And uh, we also know that it's going to be a vital tooth, so we're going to warn the patient that as we're entering the pulp chamber and even uh, uh, instrumenting the uh, canals that they're probably going to feel some sensitivity here and there at some points along the procedure, which is normal. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. A little uh, intra canal um, anesthesia can help with that, but it's almost unavoidable, um, even if they are very profoundly frozen. So we'll unroof the pulp chamber here with a um, month's discovery, large months, and then uh, remove the rest of the tooth decay interproximally. And then uh, so that once we're finished the endo, all we have to do is, uh, is a whip up a quick crown prep. So lots of tooth decay left there that we're going to um, remove with uh, our uh, round burrs, and we're going to make the gums bleed a bunch. So we'll go in with an um, electrocautery tip, which is a little bit cracked there from the optum. And then um, remove the uh, soft tissue down to the bone so that we have uh, good access to a uh, clean margin of uh, dentin. And uh, I probably wouldn't even uh, attempt a situation like this without, um, without either at least a laser or an electrocautery tip just because cord is never going to cut it for something like this. Um, unless you're going to do deep margin elevation with a equia forte and then put the mesial margin on um, the uh, restorative material. So we'll get started uh, with the preparation of the tooth. And this was a 40-something-year-old patient, so wide open canals. The blood is easily going to show us where the orifices are. No calcification, so we're not going to need to use any hand files. We'll get the SX down. <clears throat> each of the three canals and then get a uh, glide path file down to length irrigating in between RC prep uh, optional probably for a case like this but I guess we used it and I'm gonna fast forward through the rest of the preparation here uh, 1504 down the uh, mesials can probably skip the distal since they're usually wide open and you can usually go right to like a 2506 for for larger canals and then uh, the 3504 is going to be our final um, file before we are going to be ready to do a final irrigation activation and um, and then uh, dry it and obturate. So 3506 here, final file, using the apex locator uh, clip to it for our length. And then we're going to irrigate, use a endo activator and then there's our final preparation we're going to dry i usually size down my paper points uh, these are f1s which is i think 20 size 20 04 taper maybe 06 taper i can't remember 
Shout out Donald Trump. 34 uh, counts of uh, felonies today. Crazy timeline. Good reality TV. There's the final prep there. So we're going to dry with our paper points and then fill up the uh, canals with a um, flowable bioceramic sealer. And we'll put it into the mesiobuckle and we see, or mesiolingual, and we'll see it come out the uh, mesiobuckle there. So that's going to be well filled up. And then we'll put our GP cones in and call it a day for the endo. Fast forward here. So three cones, there's the x-ray that we take once the cones are in and we're satisfied with that. So we'll sear off the uh, cones and then trim the uh, GP down so that we have um, access to our mesial margin. We're going to actually just use a sectional band to um, build up our core just to make things a little bit cleaner for when we go to prep. I'm gonna um, use Equia Forte, so a quick, uh, quick etch with phosphoric acid, rinse and dry, and then load it up, and then wait five minutes. Pack it in with a cotton pellet. And then um, we're gonna do a quick crown prep here. So we pretty much have already done our occlusal reduction, so we're just gonna take a, a uh, Fisher Burr and uh, and trim the tooth axially so that we have a good clean margin and uh, these are nice kind of situations here because you can tell the patient that the pain gonna switch over to 8 o'clock and do our uh, lingual reduction tell the patient that the pain is gonna go away right away after the procedure there's the mesial margin where we uh, have uh, removed our gum tissue with the electrocautery tip, but they're obviously going to have pain from the gums, from the uh, gingivectomy, so we'll give them Advil and Tylenol anyway. There's our prep. We're going to get a scan um, and then uh, put a temporary on it, which is optional as well for a situation like this. Basically just for um, space maintenance is the uh, temporary, which we did do here. So we'll load up our um, template which we would have taken preoperatively trim it back down to the margins try it in check the bite make sure that it's out of occlusion and then we'll load it up with some temp bond and fire it in and that's basically it for this one there's the scan and that's going to work just fine and good 1.5 millimeters of and there is the final uh after we had uh cemented it which we're satisfied with so